Hey y'all, Brian here from Deckard & Company, and today we're going to talk about something that's really cool, especially if you are one of those that's um, into doing SEO for yourself, or maybe you want to just see how your analytics is going on your website. And what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about ditching Google Analytics. What? Yeah, okay, so here's what we're talking about. So Google Analytics is when you log into Google Analytics and you don't know what the heck you're looking at, it's pretty overwhelming and, you know, it, it's kind of difficult to understand what's going on in there. So when it comes to the analytics of your website, it's always a great idea to know, you know, uh, your visitors, your views, how many sessions, how long they're on your website for. Where are they coming from? So those referring URLs, you know, where on earth are people coming to your website and how are they getting there? So it's really cool, this new um, plugin that actually plugs right into your WordPress website and it just works. And we're gonna go over it right now. I think it's, it is pretty fantastic, especially to the normal person that has a business a small business website or a nonprofit organization and you want to monitor how your website's performing so here we go we're gonna take a look at it right here and this is what it's called independent analytics now does this replace you know your SEMrush your Moz um, SE ranking you know Ahrefs and stuff like that absolutely not it, absolutely not but this is a great way for the normal person to understand their uh, website's analytical data. And we're going to take a look at our website and we're just going to kind of go through it and see what it's all about. So without further ado, here we go into uh, Deckard & Company's dashboard. So here we are on Deckard & Company. <clears throat> And of course we have all of our, we use Rank Math for our SEO plugin of choice on our website. And I've got all that, those statistical data is kind of muted out because I don't think anybody needs to see all that stuff. But what we're gonna look at is when you install this new independent analytics, <clears throat> it puts this new little widget on your dashboard and it gives you, and this has only been on our site for a day. Actually, I installed it yesterday. I've been monitoring it on a test site for a while. Loved it, so I decided to put it on our website here. And when you do, you get this really nice little widget that it puts on your dashboard. So it gives you, once you log into your, uh, into your website, it gives you a great little snapshot of how your website's performing. It's pretty cool stuff. But where the power is, we're gonna go into the open the dashboard by clicking this beautiful little purple button right here. And we're gonna go into that dashboard and take a look. Okay, so here we are. We're on the, uh, the dashboard of independent analytics, which is installed directly on your website. So you don't have to go anywhere else. You can, you, you can see everything right here on your WordPress website and it's awesome. So the nice thing is we obviously have the pro version, so you have to pay for this. They do have a free version that um, actually right out of the box, it's amazing. You know, most people probably wouldn't need the paid version unless you wanna dive a little deeper into like campaigns and stuff like that, which we'll touch on in just a second. Um, but at a real quick glance, you know, when you go in here, it goes right to your pages. And it gives you this great data, right? I'm going to turn sessions on here so you can see this beautiful little graph that shows you um, how many visitors, how many sessions, and how many page views. So, and as we scroll down, here's all the page titles, right? You know, so you know which pages those people are landing on. And it's going to show you the visitor, how many visitors visited that page, how many views they looked at it, uh, the view duration, the bounce rate, <laughs> and the URL linking to this homepage. So you can see the forward slash is obviously my homepage. So yeah, so it just sh shows you in one day, these are what 
people were looking at, which is pretty cool stuff. Okay, so the nice thing about this is you can also dive into your blog posts, your top landing pages, all that stuff. So it's just a push of a button and you can see, so these are the blog posts so far in one day that people have looked at, which is pretty cool. Um, most of these are probably bots, of course, because um, they're out there, it's terrible, I know, I know. But in one day's time, it shows you that, hey, people are clicking on my stuff. Or somebody is, anyway. <clears throat> okay, so here's the nice thing, referrers. So where are the people coming from? Where are the visitors coming from? So if we click refers here, <clears throat> it's going to bring us into uh, this page, which after it loads up, it's going to show you that the refer so far in one day has been Google with five visitors and direct visits, meaning they knew exactly our URL and they typed it in and they came to us, you know, so these are probably uh, clients of ours needing some information. So that's pretty cool. You can go into geographic areas, areas so the demographics. Um, browsers and campaigns so really quickly without going through everything in detail because that's not what this video is all about but with campaigns so you're running a special so with that special you know you're gonna want to do what they call a UTM and that's just basically you've got your URL and then you've got a string of information behind that and you've seen them before and all that does is it tells the um, analytical platform whatever it is you're using where they came from and it gives it gives it a little bit more information that breaks it down into the source the medium you know stuff like that so that's all it is but when you click and you put it in here you're gonna be able to monitor how that campaign is performing which is fantastic and that and it's not using Google Analytics which is pretty freaking cool <clears throat> so I think this little system here is fantastic the roadmap on it is amazing and in that roadmap the really cool thing here is that it is going to be uh, they're looking for the um the implementation uh, the implementation of google search console so if they bring that information into this now you've got a powerful tool that you're going to be able to use because you're going to get, you know, really good analytical data, which is what this is. And then the Google Search Console, you're going to know what people are typing in the search query to actually find you. So those two things together, a great SEO platform, you know, within your fingertips on your website. So I think this is pretty cool. Great little plug-in. Like I said, there's a free version. Um, and then there is a... Uh, paid version which is actually pretty affordable you it, it's a yearly fee um, it's like fifty six dollars um, a year I think it's what it is right now with a big discount because it's an early adapter um, but I will say that if you're a client of Deckard and Company uh, we are offering this tool to install on your website at a, a discounted rate so you'll be able to get that pro version at a discounted rate so hope this video helps. Um, like I said, it's a fantastic, awesome tool for analytical data that's installed right on your website, your WordPress website. And it's just, it's amazing, you know? So uh, loving it so far, and I can't wait to see where it goes uh, in the future. You know, the roadmap looks pretty bright. All right, thank you so much for watching and have a great and wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.